Welcome back to another Game Maker Studio tutorial and this time something which is not completely necessary in any game but well why not and that, what I mean by that well animation of some buildings and as you can see I have three buildings they look kind of flat they already look quite kind of nice if you zoom out not too bad but maybe we can enhance that and as you can see basically those are the three buildings as well this one with a well rotating um, wind blade then this one with a little glow from its um, oven or whatever that is and then a little smoke coming up so basically that could be a blacksmith and here very very subtle thing um, once well as you can see now the skull is coming up and this, these are things just to give your surroundings a little bit more meaning and then just do some cosmetic things so stay tuned if you want to know how to do that. This is one Pindi, I am the developer of the indie game Clunky Source and a programmer slash pixel artist. So if you're new here and you want more, consider subscribing to my channel because I upload every two days a video. So let's jump right into what do we actually have. So for example for the statue that is pretty easy. I have my statue here, one single and then I have a overlay which is just the hands or basically just the skeleton parts and they are like green with a well a glow attached to it that is basically it and then similar for example to the well windmill i have the windmill building and then the windmill blade or whatever that stuff is called and that is just rotating and the last part um this smith which is just flat out like this and then the oven with a nice radial glow but that's quite subtle so how can we actually do that so first of all let's get into those buildings and we go into our mill and that is actually one of the easiest ones so basically we have um, I initialized like a spin variable and that I used to well draw my my blade here let's go back and jump in here and then I just say all right I draw it and I draw of course myself because that's the building and then I want to draw the blade as well um, with some slightly different parameters because well the blade is not in the completely bottom center because that's where this is um, where it's fixed just here so a little bit bigger and I just say all right spin then the spin variable well just in the step event and that's basically it. super easy to do the next part is our smith and he has like two things first of all um, an ease function yeah an ease function I know um, that I use for drawing um, this little glow part which I showed you so it just goes for uh, transparency to another which ones do I take? Well, between 0 0.5 and 0 0.9, so it just glows between those two, so it's not too well dominant. And then I use an alpha variable, which I just use for the ease function, which you see here. That will be just toggling between 0 0.5 and 0 0.9 and forth and back. So you have this well glow in there. That's actually a thing I did on glowing runes as well. So basically, this is the same stuff. And the last part is I do a particle effect which I haven't done for quite some time so if you don't know how particle effects work well I have a good video on that link in the description below but here I just run down a timer and once the timer is zero I just reset the timer with uh, well, a little difference so I just add some randomness to it so it's not completely constantly always the same so it looks kind of dynamic and then it can be between well uh, every six seconds no uh, uh, six times a second or three times a second so that's the range I will be having so 10 plus zero or up to 10 and then I will spawn this little particle on a specific point uh, with a part particle squared so this is the easiest way how to do a particle and then I well create um, this particle effect which I'm gonna show you now so let's go back in here that one is pretty easy I have it now with a black color I have it two times so this is like the black one this is the more gray one so you can see 
but I prefer the black one, so let's kill that one. So it looks definitely a little bit more subtle. And here I just take the predefined shape which you have in Game Maker Studio. So that is the smoke here. And well, we do it quite small because it is quite small. Then overlay it with colors because you have to. And here now it's very black, black and very, very black. And here I do a few colors, um, uh, alphas. So it starts off not completely well there then it appears and then it just fades into obscurity again so you have a fade in and fade out in the end then the speed is quite slow because well smoke doesn't go up too fast the direction is well in a cone which is not completely upward just a little bit to the left to the right and then this cone it will go up and the last thing orientation but well, it's optional so it just appears a little bit randomized and then the blend and here don't do one because if I do one here it will blend in together and then you will have white yeah completely black thing will be white in the end so so sometimes um, additive blending is not the best idea at least not here and then I put a life of 240 to 3 340 so yes just four seconds yeah that's about yeah that's about four seconds uh, let's say um, and then we just create it and that is basically it um, the last thing is uh, for my safe statue that's how I call it and there I will draw well the sprite this one with the hands too and do that with an ease function yep again the ease function and there I just have another value which I just called alpha that's basically it that's the whole tutorial I just can show you once and there you will see the black smoke come on come on come on all right so let's go in here and now you can see black smoke it's a little bit different here well ease function ease function simple spinning particle effect and that's it so you give already your well the building a little bit more life of course you can do that let's say for windows and stuff you get an overlay so um, that is a thing a lot of people actually do that as well so well your surroundings uh, appear a little bit more well lively because these ones just appear well flat and these ones actually have something to it so hopefully that was of interest to you have a good one one up indeed.